Hey guys, Shane here. Just uh, going to do it, uh, another update of the mining rig. What's going on? Um, let's hop over to Simple Miner here. Um, ever since my overclocks, it's been up for 25 hours, almost 26 hours now. Running fine, no problems. Staying cool. Fan speeds are low. Um, Again, here's my overclocks. I put those in the last video. 570 is at 1425, 2100, and the 560s are both 1375, 2000. So far, they've been running steady, smooth, no problems. Um, haven't had any issues. Seems to be uh, seems to be a good overclock and BIOS mod on those cards. So I'm just going to leave it sit like that. Head over to mining pool. Um, as you know, I'm mining Ethereum, converting it to Burge. I've already converted 468 Burge. Um, I've got 161 here on mining pool. Once it hits 250, it automatically gets deposited into my uh, one of my accounts where I hold the Burge. Let's head over to my Ethereum, what it's mining actually right now, dashboard. 24 hour in my rolling 24 average is 0 0.0047859. So let's take that, head over to Carincio, see what we're, our 24 hour average is doing right now. Four dollars and 21 cents. 24 hour average. So let's pull up our little spreadsheet calculator. I know that my 570 is doing pretty much half the load, so I'll put 4.21 divided by 2. $2.10 on the 570 right now, 2.10. So that would mean. My 560s are doing half of this each, so we'll divide that again by two. Each 560 is doing a dollar five a day right now. That's the highest has been ever. So net right now, excluding the uh, well, including the power cost per day, we're making 344, or Officially over a hundred dollars a month on this three card rig. That's pretty damn good. Really happy with that. Uh, we only got one more day in this week, and then I'll do the official. I'll do that tomorrow. I think I think I'll be able to do that tomorrow. The official seven day average, which this number will drop because I just recently put this five seventy in, but next week. Um, It'll be the full RX 570 and about the 560s for the whole week. So about another eight days, I'll have those figures in and see if this rolling 24-hour average holds, holds true. You can see the numbers go up. 0 0.0019 and below right here are all just my 560s going. Then here, I added maybe for about an hour or two the 570 to that, and I did have one of the 560s down briefly for maybe 24 hours. But for the past two and a half days here now, I've had the rig solid RX 570 and 560s going, and you can see the numbers going up. We're still not done with today, and we're at 0 0.00388. So that's really good. Not not bad at all. I'm happy with that. Four dollars and twenty one cents. I'm expecting that to probably maybe peak if I'm lucky at four fifty for these three cards. So that's four fifty. That may be up to about three fifty, three sixty, somewhere around in there, net per day. Can't complain about that at all. Um, just to show you, I was looking at New Egg earlier. Here's that same card I got, that Nitro 578 gig. It's going for 549 now. I bought it for 359. 
The video I showed you the other day was 662. I don't know why it fluctuates like that. I did see this one here, this Radeon, it's 369. That's, that's on the lower end. Let me look real quick and see what they got for 580s. See if they got any uh, sleeper deals floating around here on those. Cheapest ones I'm seeing so far, 500. Yeah, these are all. There's one, three sets are refurbished. I don't want anything to do with that. So yeah, those are all way too high. I know Branding Point found one for uh, 350. An RX, so the Sapphire Nitro RX 588 gig. You get really lucky finding that one. But I'm going to keep looking. I check it out every day. And if I can find one cheap enough, I still I may think about pulling the trigger on this one. This, um, if it'll load here. It's taking a sweet time to load, but that um, 578 gig, I think it was an MSI Radeon for 369. I don't know. I'll think about that. Oh, there we go. Looks like it's getting, um, the site's getting hit pretty hard or something. Either that or my um, internet sucks. But anyways, that's what's going on with my rig. And I really couldn't be happier right now, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, um, please put them down below. Or I like reading those, no matter what they are. If you like the video, hit the like button. I appreciate it. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And be notified when my next video comes out, which will probably be tomorrow. I think I'm going to go tomorrow and we're going to revisit uh, Hashflare and see what those um, those fees are, see if they've gone up or down. I know the price of Bitcoin is kind of staying, staying, um, staying steady. Let me go to CoinMarketCap and see what it's doing. Yeah, I think Newegg just crashed. That's why I wouldn't load. Bitcoin up just a little bit today, maybe 500 bucks. It was 10.2 yesterday, I think, when I did the recording. Um, but it's still pretty stagnant, trading uh, trading sideways. At least it's not going down, so that's good. All right, guys. Again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and um, hit the like button if you liked the video. And I will see you all tomorrow. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.